Everybody thankful? Sound mind, sound body. Still got your children, your beautiful son. Huh? Come on now. That's what it's down to. We made an adjustment. We used to say, if you had what you had last Sunday. Uh, uh, the world has changed since last Sunday. And you know, I got to deal with that. That's why you're thankful. Do you still have what you were thankful for? That's why you want to take time out and praise God for all the events during the week. For your plane that landed. Huh? Nobody pulled out in front of you. Just the safety aspect. You owe God praise in a chaotic world. Changing every day. Huh? If there was ever a time, and it's always been, you need to know who God is. You need to know the hope of his calling. Who you are. Why are you here today? Who authorized you to have this day and be thankful? What a blessing to hear the same voices you heard. No funerals. Huh? Nobody prepped for surgery. Yeah, some folk that got sick, diagnosed, but they still here. Which makes it more important. Do you still have what you were thankful for? Somebody give God a health praise. Good health. Sound mind, functioning kidneys. No blood in your stool, no blood in your urine. Functioning prostate, come on now. No lumps in your breath. It's so much to praise God for. Amen. Well, since I'm not a cheerleader or a hype man, y'all can sit down. I'm thankful. Um, I deal with this. We know the weather. We're not having Sunday school. Shout out to Sonia. She's getting all these uh, bids for the whole switch up thing. Shout out to Sonia. Sonia's doing a great job. Amen. Uh, thanks, Sonia. Which we'll make it. We only down to about. 30, 40 Friday, whatever. But Sonia's on her way to Paris for the Olympics, I believe, coming up real soon. Amen. Isn't that beautiful? And because of this man to the right, this Andrew Woolrich, he introduced me to Paris, and I, 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 I took it from there. <laughs> there you go. That, that was my guide. I'm got to be, what, 20 years, more than that, 30, almost 30? Coming up, coming up. I've been doing it ever since. So I'll be heading to, I'm coming in when it ends, but somebody be hanging around there. That's the man right there. We went yeah. country hopping. All right. We went country hopping. Good to see him in the sanctuary. Amen. Amen. In the sanctuary. Huh? Uh, folk, uh, we're only going to be here about, uh, you know, set your clock. But since last Sunday, around about 1.45, uh -huh. the world changed. Yes, Dramatic sir. shift in this country. Yes, sir. Which affects the world. Yep. Because as of today, we are the leader of the free world. And... With one man's decision, which I probably feel you should have did a long time ago, all of a sudden, if they were going to discuss the issues, that's no longer the case. All right. It is about the degradation of the black female. Yep. And I'm going to deal with that. Come on, Bishop. Uh huh? Yes, sir. And what makes it so sad is... Uh, why I dealt with part of it on Wednesday the black female is the backbone of this country sure enough sure the enough. black female worked in fields yeah. the black 
female had to deal with all her Come man on, and in some way still yeah. does the black female babysit their kids, breastfed their kids, clean their houses, built. The White House should be called the Black House because that's who built it. Huh? I'm so sick of people using the Bible to hide their racism. Anytime you want to be hidden, you, amen, you use the Bible. Well, I'm going to take this same Bible and turn it upside down. That's what it's about now. Yeah. Do I agree with all the Democrats? Of course not. Uh -huh. Okay. Matter of fact, what the Republicans want to do when it comes to the automobile industry benefits me. All right. All right? My yeah. daughter here works over to tell you that this, this all electric vehicle, they can't even handle the people plugging in today. Uh -huh. Okay. But that's, that's neither. It's not even about issues anymore. Right. And there, there, there's this there's, there's petroleum-based theories on fracking and all that and just... You know, whatever it is. But it's about race now. Yeah, it is. Okay? Yes, it is. And who's qualified and who's not qualified. But I'm sick of people using the Bible to hide their racism. Exactly. Okay? And when yeah, I say the Bible, when I talk about God, when I talk about Jesus, I'm not talking about that portrait in 1940 right. that someone said is emblematic of who he is. Uh, I don't know who that is. Yeah. He looked like the first cousin of the man on the zigzag. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Amen. That's the first cousin. Uh, but let's see what the Bible has to say about it. Yes, sir. Uh, that black female needs to be uplifted. Amen. Uh, Amen. They have tried to uh, see the Bible is with humanity. But races have taken it for centuries and twisted it. And have tried to de-Africanize the word of God. But we in there. Go ahead, Bishop. We in there, people. Come on, we're there, yes. Huh? Yeah. We in there. We in there, yes. Um, we in there so tough. Lord, <laughs> man. We, the in, we in there so tough. Yeah. That Jesus, uh, the woman Jesus spoke about, did not get there because of no DEI. Right, right. Okay? Uh, Matthew, you don't even know we in here. Matthew chapter 12. Anybody know issue? I don't care who you vote for. Huh? <laughs> but I will tell you this no Hispanic man, no black man, no Puerto Rican man, no nobody but a European could do on January the 6th what they did. Right. Period. Exactly. Yes. Basically, are you lit, even told Christians, if I get in, you ain't got to vote. No, y'all listen to this stuff? And told them I'm not a Christian. Why? Because the racism that's in you, I will bring it out. That's right. Uh, and make you think you're speaking the oracles of God and you're not. Exactly. Right? Amen. Uh, evangelicals. <laughs> well, I got a word for them if they listen. All right. Pick it up at verse uh, 38. They go to sexualize this woman. I'm really going off on that. Uh, yes, oh, let's read the scripture because I'm, I'm ready. To go. Uh, verse 38. Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee. But he answered and said unto them, What did he tell them? An evil and an adulterous generation <laughs> seeketh after a sign. Uh, did he tell them what they were? Yes, Lord. Mm. Mm. And I'm going to show you what they trying to do backfire. Exactly. Uh, in, in denouncing a black woman, they didn't know the white women was going to get together. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And females and teenagers. Right. <laughs> you Woo. galvanized them. Come on. One thing about this man, he don't respect no women. All right. Sure doesn't. His own wife. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I bet he don't want his beautiful granddaughter to run into a man like him. Exactly. Talking about misogynistic. This is Mr. Misogynistic. He yeah. don't respect women, period. Right. He proved it. But no other man can say this slick stuff. And a convict on top, your cousin can't get a job. <laughs> All right, Bishop. And all he did was take some swishers out of a, a, a bed for him. He can't get a job. All right. Nobody can pull this stunt. Uh, let me uh, uh, read. And the then, evil and adulterous generation. <laughs> Go ahead on. Now, 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 this my Jesus. And there shall no sign be given to it, <laughs> but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Uh, Jonah represents, all of us shout out Jonah. All of us have tried to get out of the will of God. Come on, shout out Jonah. Jonah. Try to get out. The only thing is now, you might put your hand on Jonah had money. So Jonah bought a ship. Yeah, he did. All right, so hand go back down. All right. <laughs> Shout Jonah out. Trying to evade the will of God. Uh -huh. God tell you to do something. You got an opinion. Uh -huh. It didn't work out for you. How that working out for you today? Oh, come, come the on. suffering. And then I, I scare you by telling you that my 68 years on earth only represent one hour and 38 minutes. Uh -huh. <laughs> When I'm trying to make it to November 21st, so I can meet, at least make one hour and 39 minutes, come on, come which on. means that we've wasted a whole lot of time. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the, the future. future. Didn't work out for Jonah. Uh, trying to evade the will of God. It's the whole deep thing about Nineveh and, and the people died there. Apostles died there. They were raggedy. They were crazy raggedy. But if God give you instruction, you got to follow. And because of that, he saw, are you ready for it? You're not ready for this. It's better to do the will of God with tears streaming down your face. Yes, Lord. Than to wake up one day and you didn't see the bottom of the mountains. All right. All right. The bottom of the mountains. Yes, Lord. Mm. I don't need Clarkson to hear God. I don't need Bergen Mercy. I don't right. need Methodist. I don't uh, need none of that no, to hear no. God. That's right. Huh? Mm -hmm. His ways, according to Isaiah, are above what? Our ways. And to us, he does things that make, that absolutely make no sense. Hmm? I know you, you're holy today, but have you ever asked God, did he consider another way? All right. <laughs> I'm talking about the honest folk. Did you ever ask God? Uh -huh. <laughs> did, did, did you have to do it? Come on now, don't play. We're about to get up out of here. Did you have to do it that way? Yes. Anybody got a that way that in their way. life? <laughs> that way. Uh -huh. did, did you have to do it? You mean the God that sits up on the circle of the earth, the God that makes oceans obey and see, but you did it that way? that way? Did you ever consider it was going to break my heart? Did you ever consider it, man, my, tear, my eyes were going to run out of tears? Did you ever consider I may not get up and then God will turn I didn't tell you I wasn't going to lose you when you thought I wasn't there I was going to show up for you somebody shout hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, I just want somebody to trust hallelujah. me I just want somebody to hang on to me I just want somebody to give me another day I am the God of the universe I am the great I am I am the chief of Allah, aloof of Allah. I am the champion of the world but God, I don't understand you had to do it that way. Did that have to happen to me? Did they have to say that? Did I have to hear what they had to say? That thing been haunting me my whole life. Somebody shout hallelujah and said, I'm here because God is. There are folk who are dead, but you ain't forgot what they said. <laughs> and, and then you see somebody else with... According to your eyesight, the life, the parent, the father, the mother, the job, the career that you wish you had. Uh -huh. All right, let's be honest before we go home. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Jonah took it to another level because he had money. Do you know 
How fortunate you are to be broke, being broke saved your life. All right, Bishop. Show sure enough. You booked the hotel, going to get it in, knock boots, toss your little salad, what's left of it, and didn't <laughs> have no money. <laughs> Girl, you teach. Went to call Freddie Jackson back for old times sake, but your phone got disconnected. Look, look what being broke did to you. Been broke, been good to you. I'll meet you out of town. You do well to make it a council bluffs. You went to Chubbs and brought a passport. That's how close you ever got to. You, 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 you. you. Being broke. Jonah had money. Yeah, he did. Remember you was going to leave everything, but your gas, <laughs> your gas tank was on it. All right. You was going to leave everybody. Your, oh, okay, y'all got some sense now. Your family, <laughs> your job, everything. You would have left your job if you would have had some money. Kmart been out of business, but they still looking for you. You better stay on that job. <laughs> they still looking for you. You got it, bitch. It didn't work out for Jonah. Verse 41. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with Ooh. this generation and shall condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonas. Uh-oh, they repented. Uh-huh. You don't know who's going to repent. Amen. Mm. You know, jo Jonah, if you read the story, the men that he bought the ship and things started happening. Jonah forgot God runs the ocean and the seas. Come on. Yes, he does. So by running away from God, he ran into God. Uh huh. <laughs> and things started happening. And the heathens like, you know what? We're going to get you up out of here. Right. And threw him overboard. Sure did. Now, you know, it's bad when ungodly don't want you no more. When the ungodly don't want you because you out the will of God. Okay. So he said, uh, he talked about the men of them. They repented. Right. Which made Jonah mad. I could care less. And behold, a greater than Jonah is here. Here we go. Is where I'm landing at. Verse 42. The queen of the south. The queen of the south. Ain't Show talking about nobody in no Popeye's chicken commercial. <laughs> Her name is Makeda. Makeda. M-A-K-E-D-A. Makeda. The queen. Look, this is G. So in your Bible, it should be in red. The queen of the south. Shall rise shall up. Shall do what? Shall rise up in the judgment with this generation. Does this say anything about this queen of the south getting there because of a D-E-I? Or uh, anything um, else. Come on. Uh, well, oh, there's a whole part. Most of a chapter is on her. Uh -huh. All right? Right. The queen of the south. A black woman shall rise up in the judgment with this generation. It's in your Bible, right? Yes. And shall condemn it. Let's see. Was she someone at the airport with a bonnet on? <laughs> huh? No. That's somebody who and, and, and some and some stretch pants. Two things don't lie. Stretch pants and kids. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, you gotta be used to me by now, huh? Was she was she at the was she at the Airport with a bonnet and some stretch pants on. With two bulldogs fighting in the back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you should teach your daughters, granddaughters, how to be thankful for their femininity, yes. how to carry themselves, yes. how to walk, how to sit. Yes. The one group, when they think of a black woman, they think of Amber Rose, who had a parade called a whole stroke. Wow. But the one they're dealing with now, yes, she made mistakes as she was young. But this is a new day. Right. Right. Okay. 
So you can't afford for the media to shape you. It's up to the parent. It's up to fathers to shape their daughters yeah. and their queenship. That's right. When they come out, all right? Supposed to shape your daughter, mother, father. Because of now society, society says Lala is only going to go so far. Uh huh. Right. Hmm? Just wrong. She's only going to go so far. Just All right. Huh. She's, she's going to be so desperate to wake up uh -uh. with uh -uh. somebody in, to the side of her so they can be inside of her that she'll lay all her giftings down so she won't be by herself. No. Satan, we rebuke, we rebuke you. you she on the front row right. out of everyone going to college to Quita. This one know why she going. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Uh, uh, one, 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 one black lady said, white women go to college to find a husband. Uh -huh. And black women go to prove they don't need one. Look, I ain't skipping over no issue. All right, go ahead, Bishop. Sure. Uh, so you 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 have to define, uh, and you supposed to go to war with anything uh, that stops your daughter, white, black, pink. Purple, huh? Monkey tan, Puerto Rican, from being a queen. You supposed to go to war with everything. Yes. You ain't supposed to sit aside while somebody mess over your daughter right. and marginalize her. Okay. Huh? Why aren't you gonna get hood with it? You've been drawn on yourself. You ain't no G. Uh, well, where'd you get that from? Not gonna sit there and I done took care of you and dressed you and gave you the best. You got somebody who doesn't can't even make a commitment. All right. You supposed All to right. have that conversation with your daughter. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. You carry yourself, you keep yourself covered up. You're fun, you're feminine, but you ain't nobody's fool. That's right. And you walk in your queenship. Amen. Because society Amen. will 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 identify you. Who is this queen of the south? The queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For she came from the uttermost parts of the earth. To do what? To hear the wisdom of Solomon. To hear the wisdom of who? Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. Is that what Jesus said? That's what Jesus said. Uh -uh. So he obviously, this is in Matthew, this is Josephine. Yeah. He obviously, to put it, held her in high esteem for her travels. Yes. All right. This is the black woman. Okay. Now, 1 Kings chapter 10. I start with the New Testament first. Let's see who this is. Uh, write this down before you belong female and, and, and sure how they beat this black woman down and what they're saying about her and I got some evidence right here all right you might need an interpreter some of y'all don't watch nothing uh, you might ask somebody what he talking about okay because they have labeled her and yes, there was a black man who had an opportunity to mentor her, but no, he laid down with her. Why? Because she was 30 years old and she had more ambition than she had morals. But that was then. Yeah. Okay. That was 1994, 1995. And they want to bring, well, we're going to bring up her past. We got to bring up everybody's past. All right. Now we can't be selective. Uh, and a criminal need don't need to bring up nothing, right? But criminality, right? That's all criminal need to bring up, and I can't wait. Uh, that debate, if you don't, one man, Paul Begala said, Paul Begala said, all of a sudden now he couldn't wait to debate Joe, 
And Joe looked bad. He did. It's called cellular senescence. That's aging. I took off my glasses to see why I didn't see Andy here. Now, I know, I, you know, I, I, you too. Don't be looking at me. You dyeing your hair. Sell some hair. Ain't gonna, one of those hair is going to rebel on you. It ain't going to take no dye. You're going to be looking like Rudy Giuliani all over your body. Stuff just going to start dripping on you, all right? And you ain't dying no more. You're getting old. Talking about 60 is the new 40. No, it ain't. 60 is looking at 61 in the face. <laughs> we be lying, all right? It, yeah, it is about your spirit and all that, but, but, but it is what it is. <laughs> so, yes, this, this woman, this man, that's what, that's just that dog black man again. He's six years old. She's 30. She's beautiful. She has ambition. He, I'm trying to raise young men who will not capitalize on what God has given them. Because whatsoever man saw, if that shall he also read. All right. She's 60 years old. He's 60. He's wearing $6,000 Brioni. So you know what I'm talking about? Just listen. $6,000 suits in the 80s. The ninety six thousand dollar suit, changing clothes sometimes three and four times a day. He is on the perennial best dress list. He's a kingpin. He's the mayor of San Francisco, and he could have mentored her. And if he had mentored her, look how proud he would be now. Right, that's right. Uh, he could have mentored, but no, he was squaring her around and going to black tie affairs and, and whatever. And now they're trying to use that. And then this one racist on Fox, because there's a nasty little girl who they interview. And uh, you got to go look it up. I got kids, but they probably know more than you. Uh, the Hawk Tua girl. Now you go look it up. The Hawk Tua. And said that Kamala is the original Hawk Tua girl. Basically, she got where she got by performing. I ain't going to be dressing up nothing. By performing a sex act and said that she's the original. Well, I bear to differ with you, you racist. The original hot tour girl was Nancy Reagan. All right. It's all in the book. That's the original hot tour girl. She was legendary. Um, and they got a book. Legendary. At lunchtime, let, they're doing a movie on the Reagans right now. Oh, let me go and just mess with your whatever you listen. And you talking about who going to be the first uh, 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 woman president? It was her. Whoa. When Ronnie was messed up in his mind, she ran it. This was the first woman president. <laughs> Don't walk around dumb. Get you a book and don't let it be a comic book. Don't walk around dumb. Know what you talking about. There's your first hot tour, girl. Not Kamala. Talking about he can't pronounce it. All this is, is derogatory. Somebody going to slip up and say what they read. But those of us who've had to deal with this all our life, we know what you're trying to say. You can't hide behind some slick word or some acronym. We know how you feel your race of self. And you talking about you Baptist, Methodist, Apostolic. It means nothing to me. I deal with you according to your heart. Oh, slick conversations. All to demean. Yes. Which means you cannot get where you are based on merit. Yes. Based on brilliance. All right. Huh? And when you don't have a dad or a mentor or someone, I'm going to teach my daughter like you got to make men respect you. Amen. I don't care how my daughter Dawn has been mis uh, 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 messed over. She coming here. We gonna build her back up through the Word of God. It'll make somebody gonna come on, Dawn. Come on, Dawn. Ain't nobody got no business putting their footprint on you, but people treat you based on how you feel about yourself. That's right. 
There are days you ought to dress up when you feel like a bum just because the people in your past, amen, the people in the grave who got dogged out and who said, how many of y'all know people that were brilliant that settled and went to churches that allowed them to settle? Then you ought to raise up one day and say, you know, I don't know what mama did or grandmama did on Tuesday, but I'm looking good today. I'm feeling good. I'm smelling good. It's all good. I'm not going to sit there because the bones of women have been trampled on by men and by trifling men out of rise up in you. Stand up, Candace, with degree number five. Why do you always talk about Candace? Because I know where she came from. She came to this city depressed, dogged out by another trifling black man. Oh, and took a nap in the concrete, but she got up in Jesus' name. I don't take credit for it. It's the word of... She got rid of a trifling black man and got a good one, man. And she's standing tall because of a good one. You don't dismiss men. You don't become a lesbian. There's some good men still around. There's some coveted men still around. There's some family men around. There's some men who can make a decision. You listen to me. You won't be in the basement of nobody's house because Mr. Indecision can't make up his mind. Holler at me. (laughs) We buy some conviction over here. That's holiness. We don't do religion over here. (laughs) Do you want your daughter to run into a man like you? (laughs) I, I, I I didn't wake up this morning to miss. You want to, yeah. You want to settle for that? No. I don't want her waste all this beauty up waiting for somebody to choose her. You choose God. He chose you. Whatever choice come after that is extra. Ooh, that was good. <laughs> choose God. Choose God. Hallelujah. But it's your Father. Who's supposed to make sure you're not desperate and walk around with your head down? Mm-hmm. Your father supposed to be telling you you're beautiful with your clothes on. That's your father. Huh? Your father shapes your feminine. That's why these men who can't make decisions is the reason why we got so many lesbian. We got people that were protected and they feel the way the abuser don't make an adjustment. Amen. But the one been abused... Your father is supposed to stop you. You ain't going to have no boyfriend messing over my daughter. Right. Using my daughter. Yes. Get quiet. I care less. Your father. Hmm? <laughs> that child came off the concrete. Didn't give up. Yeah. Kept going. You don't let no raggedy person that can't make up their mind define you. You supposed to get a divorce. You ain't supposed to stay there and be cheated on because you don't like being by yourself. If he can't make up his mind, help him. You don't sit there and get verbally abused and put down. That go for men too. If she don't want no husband, get to stepping. What's at stake? Your sanity. What's at stake? Your soul. So I'll use Kamala. You ran to a man who should have mentored you, not go to bed. I don't care if you was attracted to Why wouldn't you be? Ain't nobody your age smelling like that. They smell like the Lakers locker room after a hard game. (laughs) <laughs> Don, like, where he get this from? Off the top of my head. That's why I, I, you can't be every Sunday. I got to hear about uh, 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 Kobe. Well, I'm consistent. You can't be the 19 year old. 
You done messed over women for 19 years, but a 19 year old done found him a queen of the South. You fumbling and bumbling and stumbling. Scared of women that are smarter than you. Uh-huh. Well, you're going to be frightened your whole damn life. Uh-huh. That's not a biblical word. Long version is damnation. I just shortened it. All right. I, 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 ain't trying ahead, to, I ain't trying to build no ministry. Go ahead, Bishop. <laughs> Your kid's song talk worse than I do. Uh-huh. You ain't did nothing about that. Huh? Yeah. You scared of smart women. Your Bible full of smart women. Rahab. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Come on, Rahab. <laughs> the man who was on the run went into the house of a smart woman. Uh, got his head. Got milk. Got busted. Gave him some milk and yeah. then took him up out of here. Busted him up. <laughs> <laughs> Can we raise some men who are not afraid of a smart woman? Can we raise some mothers and fathers? You want your, your child, your, your child don't read. Your child don't come to Sunday school. You're just going to raise a dummy and blame society because they're not in the topmost cadre of society. You can't afford for a little stupid BET, the what? The, it's nothing but a strip show. That wasn't no Queen of the South. You have responsibility. Right. Mm -hmm. Nobody that you brought home from the hospital supposed to rule you. All right. And once they leave, huh? Yeah. Once they leave your house, they can paint the town red if they ever find they brush. <laughs> but life got a way of slapping the brush out your hand <laughs> real quick. But why they in your house? Huh? You don't get nothing optional. I'll shut your computer down. I'll shut, man, hey, I'll show up at your school. You'll think I'm the new substitute teacher. <laughs> I'm going to find out who your friends are because that's who you really are. I'm going to show up. The reason why Trey Jean, beautiful Trey Jean with the beautiful kid, has a hub because she want to be slick like everybody else. But her pet mama turned up. She, she's so out of tune with being street. She had West Rose and don't even look around. <laughs> Every parent know where they drop off. That You came in the world because they met somebody there. They know how to get there. <laughs> I may not have no members left. And you might be my only member because you used to. <laughs> how you think you got here? All right. All right. Over oh, by the food court? Right. need space. You get plenty of when you get out of my house. Matter of fact, we already got plans. You should have plans of the conversion <laughs> for their room. <laughs> you know, I always did want to put a spa. But you took up all that space. Huh? That's real talk. Sons and daughters. And if even if that don't work, which happened this week, somebody's child decided, you know what? Because your child, my child, can become immune to your voice. 
It ain't working because it's a spirit. Let me help you. It's hard to be a teenager now than it was when you were coming around because you didn't have no phone. You might have had the phone in your name, but you didn't have a phone. <laughs> you didn't have no phone. You didn't have no internet. You had nothing. Sure I'm telling everybody, bitch. Come on. You was on earth six months and they was looking for you already. <laughs> for non-payment. So you know what happened this week? I had to calm the parent down because the parent takes it personal. No, they used to you and it's a spirit. I told one saint, a saint left here and found that child and got up on that child. While they was up on that child, you don't care how your child, you don't have to go get the prescription. If I send Kiki for the prescription, I just got to get it. I got to take it. I don't have to go get it. I may be too sick to get my own prescription. But if I can get her to go get it and drop it off. You willing to lose her to say you won? You lost. Even if what they're saying is valid and some is, you still don't lose your child. Come on. Because if Satan kill him, it won't be two funerals. It won't be one. Even this member who's embarrassed, hard working, you know, parents have feelings too. You're going to find out, and you're, and you're going to find out there's no book on parenting. All that we done did, all that we. It, all that we have provided, all come on, parents, come on. All that we done provided, all that we done sacrificed. Come on. That's real. So they texting me and I tell them, hold up, go get your child. All of that is true, but it's a spirit after them. Exactly. Come on. And they weren't hearing me, even though they've been around me, because, you know, <laughs> it ain't when I'm talking when I ain't got nothing else to say. And you waiting on response, which that's called seal on the Bible. You better think about what I just said last. Let them go ahead and go. No, you don't want no funeral. No, no, no. And I told somebody, that's why you can't have somebody jealous of how God has blessed you. I told one person, they zoomed up out of here. The next thing I saw, the parent was taking a picture of them talking to their child. It's good to know that somebody loves. Everybody, everybody ain't jealous of you. Everybody don't want. See, I want if someone so happy. What I look like. Become familiar with his son. Been Talking to him since he was eighth grader, and I'm somewhere in the world. And his son, what I look like being in Paris, and here his son is there, and something happened. I'm not gonna call him. Right. Oh, and I ran into him, and that's his heart. Yeah. That's his seed. Yeah, yeah. You know who should look out for him? The boy that just got drafted. He was blessed. I was supposed to be there too. But the boy that he mentored all the way up yeah, got drafted. Sure did. He needs to reciprocate that back to you. Because yes. you poured into him. Yes. And I, if I talk to him, I don't want his little money. You need to pour into the man who spent time, showed you how to go left, right, finish. Yeah. Who do you owe? Come on, talk to me before I go home. Who do you owe? Who is your Samuel? Who is the person, amen, that you got beside yourself, but they hung there with you? Who checked you? Who told you you were better than that? Who told you you ain't no girlfriend, you a wife? Who told you you was a man of God? You ain't no man, ho. Who is it? You better not die without blessing them, and you better not let them die. Tell me, they already know how I feel about it. Show them. Yeah. Now let me calm down here. Who is this queen of the south? 
will I be? Here come the queen stroke. Come on in. Well, I'll be. Now, you know that's God. Look at these beautiful. Come on, look at these beautiful girls. Look ahead, look ahead. Now, hold, hold on now. now yeah. I, I hope she told y'all about me. I'm the pastor. Oh, yeah. Why, why, God, <laughs> why, why God sent them on a hot message like this? The message is hotter than it is in here, you know. Why, why God sent them on a hot message? So anybody who's sitting there talking about, mm, that ain't God. Now what you got to say? I seen her before. God, good to see. Uh, now what you got to say? Now, these are all somebody's daughters. How you like that? I'm going to make sure they're not going to leave here feeling marginalized. I'm going to make sure. I'm going to take my one shot. I ain't Chris Weber with a game on the line and I'm patting around like a hot potato. <laughs> Ain't nothing about no basketball. There's certain people, uh, generation of. Kobe, you ain't getting the ball. You ain't even getting the ball in practice with him. Allen Iverson, just forget it. Now I'm going to go back before. Before the end, it was Earl Monroe with the bullets. You ain't getting the ball. Back in high school, there was a man named George McGinnis that was 6'8". He used to bring the ball down and wave all his team. 6'8", 235 in high school. He was a tight end playing basketball. He used to wave everybody down. Okay. You cannot be confident in your God-given ability. And if you don't know why you hear what you here for, this world will marginalize you. And you'll sit and by the time you get my age, 68, if you make it, you won't even know who you are. There's a reason why people lose their mind. There's a reason why people are suicidal. There's a reason why people give up. You're supposed to get up and thank God that you're fearfully, wonderfully made. You are supposed to thank God for your femininity that God made you a woman. You're supposed to thank God. That God made you a man. A man has seed. You supposed to thank, be thankful. I told her your foundation. You supposed to shake. Everyone has been molested uh, with, with old raggedy uncle so and so who been marginalized by mama's boyfriend. And this ain't about basketball. It's about life. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but you always give your best. Huh? If your shot ain't falling, you play defense. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. You always have a contribution. To the game of life. Somebody put it's a contribution to life. You never storm out the court. When somebody falls, you help them back up. Because somebody, because one day you're going to fall. Oh, come on now. It's not about basketball. I told Zoe when I run into Angel Reese, and I will. She better not be hanging around Paris when I get there. <laughs> I know all the stories here, thanks to Andy. And the one he didn't show me, I found on my own. He said, I didn't help you. <laughs> you know, I'm going to tell her, going to be the shortest conversation ever. Her beautiful self, her feminine self, until she get on that court and throw her elbow on you. <laughs> she <Yeah>. rough. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> like a rough. You know, I'm going to tell her to her face. Uh -huh. I see her mama first. Uh -huh. Society, because of your beauty will be quick to hand you a mini skirt. I'm going to hand you a mantle. All right, Bishop. Not a mini skirt. Because <laughs> <laughs> one day those legs ain't going to look the same. Hold on, be real quick because, you know, I, I keep right, going. One day right. they ain't going to look the same. No, they won't. No, they not. They're going to look like Rainbow 66. <laughs> uh, okay. 
But if I hand you a mantle, a mantle is something that when your beauty fades, and it will, that mantle, that's the whole part of phenomenal women, that you get a mantle. A mantle. A mantle is something that God gives you. Right? Yeah. Has nothing to do with everybody else. And I mean, she's at the level where they, the Louis and all them, they, they send her clothes. They just, I ain't, psh. You're going to have a mantle, young lady. In a man's sport. But when you get done, you are feminine. And that's the beauty of her. Just as dainty as she can be to that ball go up in there. Then his elbow talk stuff. She fun to watch. I like Caitlyn too, your little racist self. I hope you pick up Caitlyn at the YMCA and she hit one from the water fountain. That'll shut you up. <laughs> oh, she walk in and pull on you. Huh? See, if I was them, I would, man, it ain't nothing but magic and bird all over again. If, if I was, if, man, yeah. if I was an agent, I, man. I had them playing like they enemies. They be talking to see what they saying about us. Huh? Girl, ain't that funny? How much they give you? They give me about four million. I got four million too. I would just play their racism against them. They've been competing since they were in AAU together. And look what they've done for women's sports. Yes. <laughs> Man. Yes. You could, those games, I remember when the league first started. You couldn't even commit a mass murder in there because wasn't nobody in there to be killed. <laughs> That's for real. Okay? And because of... So what's the agenda? Why is there a foundation? To shape for life. But you can't lose your child shaping somebody else's child. Right, right, right. What would I look like? I went after and he was eighth grade. What would I look like going at the end, but I lost Raphael, James, and Cambry. Show you what God did. Andy's still here at the age of 50, and I still got my kid. How about that for some math? How about that for math? Then? And have not changed one iota. He, he bought me a... He, <laughs> You don't know, but Louis Vuitton has motorcycle helmets. I have two of them. He bought one of them. All right. And he, I just, he just came back with it. The, we, we, we pronounce it Damier, but it's really Demir. I have it. And I have another one that had to eat McDonald's for the rest of the trip because, <laughs> no, I went in there and found it. I got it. It's 1,500 euros, and I'm McDonald's Mickey D's for the rest. I can't eat nothing, but I got what I want. But even after that, I would still tell him the truth. The truth was worse, was worth more than a helmet. Yeah, come on, y'all. Yes, y'all yes. hear what I said? Yes. I said the truth was worth more. The, the only thing that sets you free is the truth. That's why if you're young and beautiful, you don't collect liars. Don't let nobody make no fool out of you. Don't let nobody tell me, oh, you ain't this, you ain't this. And don't worry. You're going to get a whole lot of time to be grown. More time than you're going to realize. You're going to be you're gonna like, boy, I wish I was 14 again getting lunch money. <laughs> ain't no lunch money. I'm, come on, grown folks. Did you get some lunch money today? <laughs> you don't even have a table for somebody to put lunch money on. Come on now. <laughs> Man, you better. How many of y'all would love to come here, walk in here, all beautiful and hair done and, and, and lips glistening and ain't got no bills. Some of y'all about to start crying. Amen. <laughs> ain't got no bills. Ain't got no mortgage payment. Ain't got no car payment. Just eating and wasting food and eating, eating whole loaves of bread and half <laughs> gallons of uh, ice cream. Look at they about to pass out. <laughs> Now's your time to be, here's a word, discipline. Yes. Why, why your buck wild, um. glorilla, uh, uh, old spice, <laughs> old Fort Lauderdale, unsexy red that need a vinegar <laughs> bath today, all these clown people. 
We got two millionaires beefing. When you graduate with honor and somebody else pick up a child, that's when you crip walk and say, they ain't like us, amen. When all of y'all cross the stage <laughs> and finish school and cut the tape for your own business yeah. and build a legacy. Come on now. Now you can say they ain't like us. All right now. Some of the people dancing and spinning and dipping, you the same thing. Someone who God gifted, but you didn't capitalize on it. And you running out of time. Now I'm going to talk to you like I don't have no natural daughter. I got grandbabies. I got two granddaughters. But I got spiritual daughters everywhere. Amen. Chapter 10, verse 1. Here's this queen of Sheba, this black woman. Can Candace sit down? Candace, you can sit down. Yeah, I, Candace. <laughs> that's why her husband loves me. You've been to sit down and say, he tripping. That's why you by yourself. Uh, 10 and 1. And when the queen of Sheba. When this black woman named Makita, who wasn't <laughs> walking around the airport with no bonnet on. <laughs> Oh. And when the queen of Sheba heard when she of, heard about what? She heard of the fame of Solomon. The fame of Solomon. Concerning the name of the Lord. She came to prove. Hold on. She heard of the fame of Solomon because of what? The Lord. The name of the Lord. Yes, sir. Well, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Yes. And the righteous run into a safe. If you ever get in any kind of trouble, call on the name of the Lord. If somebody who they've been picking on at school come in, we didn't have to worry about us uh, over. We had never worried about getting shot at school. No. Never. No. When somebody who they've been picking on, huh? When the mean girls are picking on somebody, okay? Now look, look at this silly town. The, me, the, 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 the popular girls, the drunk girls, the, they all died except one. One got, e uh, 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 she got ejected from the car and the rest of them died. The one died who wasn't drunk. All right. Remember I told you I was on the way to something and four girls pulled up on me, high school girls, because they liked my motorcycle and my boots with the spikes on them. And they just came back and said, we just like your style. Well, good. I'm going to talk to him. We start talking about graduate. May I tell you about this story? A forum from Miller North. And so I said, don't, 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 don't act a fool when you graduate. That's how people get raped. If you ain't did nothing the whole four years and you ought to thank God because it don't mean nothing. Huh? Then don't sit there and get drunk, get played, act a fool, <laughs> live for another day. Amen. You know, I'm blessed because of that. Yes. That, 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 that is the source of my blessing. While they were looking at some at Alexander McQueen with the spikes on, they had two pair. They like, ooh, we well good. Let's talk about y'all. What, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I, I'm gonna go to college. I, I'm gonna do this. And believe it or not, if you don't know what you want to do now, that's not a good look. That's a blank sheet of paper, which means somebody gonna scribble on it. If you know what you want. Now, you can't tell parents because parents know, know, they don't know what they don't know. Uh, they just a child. If you're 14, you got four years to figure it out. Because society, how many of y'all grown folks that society don't care whether you don't know who you are or not? Right. That's why they got menial jobs for you. Because you don't know who you are and what your goals are. So we thank God. Shout out to Shaquita for asking everybody, do you really know what? Yeah. Because if you 18 and don't know why you're here, right. you are beyond late. All right. The name of the Lord, not religion, it's a strong tower. Somebody come in shooting, call on G Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Huh? Jesus. Call on Jesus. Mm -hmm. Name of the Lord. Don't be no religious girl. Means nothing. It means nothing that you come to church all the time. It's all on the inside. He was famous 
Because of what God is. Because God appeared to him twice. Read. Concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. In other words, I'm going to see if you were smart. Man, she did that today at Monroe, at Benson. Uh, no. I, I got to turn my back. It's, this is the old Miles David. Why y'all like dumb dudes? <laughs> If Solomon had have been dumb, what's up? <laughs> you ever talk to him on the phone? Uh, how you doing? It's, it's that silent. Oh, yeah. I'm good. Good for what? <laughs> if that was what he was, that would have been a one verse chapter. He dumb. I'm not traveling. They didn't have no Uber. They didn't have no planes. I ain't traveling to hear somebody dumb. I come to see if you are as brilliant as they say. Oh, can we get some brilliant men? All right. And y'all, y'all, y'all. <laughs> I know this is the day of being a dummy. Yeah. Uh, Woo, man, it's just not your generation. There are people that got a website called uh, uh, Flying Ages. They're just as crazy as they want to be. Talking about finding 59. Girl, you look like somebody hit you for, for years and didn't stop. <laughs> anyway, read. <laughs> be like, and she came to Jerusalem with a very great train. A with- train? Oh, guess what? She got money, y'all. Mm-hmm. Ain't no DEI. This is a queen. Yes. She got money. She's wealthy. With camels. She can't, oh, this is all wealth, y'all. There, that bear spices and very much gold and precious See, they stones. can't relate. She came in a Rolls Royce Cullinan truck. And all oh. the Tesla cyber trucks was in the back. Okay. That's how she was rolling. She came. You need to go to Africa and see all those lies they've been telling you. I got a whole book. This is before they were, this is heavy stuff, colonized. That's what Kendrick was trying to tell Drake he was. It's not even very, very low level. But that's before the Portuguese, the French, the Spanish. The worst being, as Prince Harry will tell you, he's so embarrassed by how his family got that kind of wealth. Before they colonized, they had two story apartments. They had uh, ivory, gold, just it blew them away. We talking about tree lined streets. They had suburbs. Say, so why, 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 why is it not our history? Now they're trying to pass something where we don't want you to know about a past history. You know why? So that you'll never know where you came from. And we'll always be able to define you for what you are right now. You got to filter through all this. Okay. You, you got to understand this. All right. And then yet you cannot be ignorant about it. When you talk about the civil rights movement, you're not talking about black folk. You're talking about black, white Jews. All right. Yes. That they, they put dogs out on them. Are yes. y'all hearing me? Yes. Even when they were colonizing Africa, that's why the, the language is Portuguese in Zimbabwe, which was Rhodesia, named after Cecil Rhodes. And I tell you, we're not Rhodesia. We are Zimbabwe. We have a name that God gave us, all right? Yes. Not because you came in and plundered the land and raped the women and took all the natural resources and then enslaved us to work which your hands couldn't do. Talk to me. Come on, baby. You got to know where you came from, huh? And know that God has given you an identity. Huh? That's why you don't have your head down. You have your head up. You walk like you a queen. You talk like you a queen. Yes. You just as nice and mannerable. Yes. But yes. when it comes to somebody removing your crown, that's when you remove the earrings. No, yeah. I know him. You're not going to kill me. You're not going to kill my children. You're not going to bury my son. Ain't no yellow tape. 
that woman raised him not to be no whoremonger. He ain't messing over her. That's his wife. I don't care about Woo. your generation. She raised him. You're not going to be the same man that messed over me. Yes. Nobody has a right to put footprints on your soul. Yes. To use a part of you and not want the rest of you. But, but, but people treat you based on how you feel about yourself. So this lady, Solomon, you all there, you got all these women, and that's what messed him up later on. But this is before he was messed up. You ain't messing over me. I got money too. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I want to see if you're smart. I'm not coming to see because you got money. I'm coming to see what's on your mind. Wouldn't that work today? It does work. Even if you ain't worked it. Can I help my daughters before they go home? This is somebody's daughter. Make sure somebody respects your mind. Your yes. mind. Yes. Don't even dress and carry. If you're a good solid eight, don't be putting on a four. A couple of sizes is off on the ground somewhere. They they struggling to, for air, <laughs> huh? Make sure they respect your mind. Can I go and talk real talk to them? Go ahead. Care about your generation? There is no condom that fits over your brain. All right, come on, that's good. Uh, by the way, you smart aleck people, I never gave my sons the permission to have condoms. Amen. Period. Amen. Messing over somebody's daughter. Never from me. Oh, let me help you in. I ain't never talk. Don't make me a grandmother. Don't just don't make me. Come on, people. And you sitting in church talking all that God talk, but it's not. Mm, it's what's down in your soul. Okay. Now you see why I'm not popular. Teach. Teach. Yes. Read. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him at all that was in her heart. Found out he wasn't no dummy. It's like five riddles. I don't have time because we're about ready to get up here. It's all these riddles. And he was smart. You ever heard somebody was smart? You talked to him. You went, you got to be kidding. You got to be kidding. Who said... <laughs> He was for real smart. So she hit him with some riddles. Mm -hmm. You might want to ask your dude, can he spell? Ask him, can he spell Kamala? <laughs> but don't ask him if you can't spell cat. <laughs> Read. I'm just messing with y'all. All right. And Solomon told her all her questions he told her all the questions so, so he he lived up mm -hmm. read there was not anything hid from the king which he told her not why is that important i gotta bring it out to their level all right y'all mad at me it was mad about 12 minutes ago why is it important it's called being equally yoked together uh -huh. smart people should get with smart people Okay. All right. Why is that? Because if one gets sick, ill, or disabled, the other one can pick up. All right. You don't think about that. Uh, who who has mother wit? Who has a mind mm, that refuses to marinate in depression? Who is upbeat? Who is optimistic? All oh, they talk about negative energy. People are talking about negative energy. You got negative energy. No, 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 no. Who, 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 who is upbeat? Who is optimistic? Who really looks at the glass half full? Mm -hmm. Instead of half empty. Uh -huh. How can two walk together except they be agreed? Never apologize for a brilliant mind. Let everybody else. And please, can I talk to somebody's daughter? Please don't play dumb to get with anybody. Play smart. 
bring a calculus book to the cafeteria. <laughs> Make him All nervous. Right. All, right. All he got on is last year's Jordans. He don't have nothing. Don't, don't get him <laughs> off the hook. Don't make, if you are smart, quiz her. <laughs> uh, come on now. Uh, What's on your mind? Hmm. Unless you've been hit by a truck, we know you're behind work. But what about your mind? All right. Okay. Your generation and the ones behind you is all behind centered. I would say another word, but y'all don't know me like that. So I'm just going to say behind and y'all figure it out when y'all get it's in the uh, And they all nervous. And, <laughs> Your mind. Make somebody respect your mind. Don't ever make no young man think he doing you a favor. Ooh. Because he done talked about you and put you down and said you all that. And then showed his friends all the phone uh, pictures he took of you doing something you didn't know. Shouldn't have. Ooh, I'm going to talk to you. Uh. Don't ever be on nobody's phone. Don't ever put yourself in a position. Don't even run with somebody who does that. Because when they get tired of being used, they want you on film too. Man, y'all can't pay me enough for telling these girls what's right. Nobody should be able to blackmail you. Don't ever drink out of something you didn't pour. Don't even, just cut your, everybody that's buck wild. Everybody's trying to see what they can do. Because when you get to be grown, you only get to be 18, 18 years. But you get to be grown for the rest of your life. Yeah. Look at my grown folk wishing. They cheerleading outfit don't even fit no more. The little shirt when they made the flag football team, that food and stretched out. You get to be old for a long time. Hmm? While you young, you ought to get up with a praise. God, I thank you. What an excite! I don't care what all this racism. It's an exciting time to be alive, huh? How many of y'all excited about life? Man, I'm excited. If you're not excited, then you're depressed. If you depressed, it's because you ran out of time. Uh, or you did not utilize the brilliant mind that God gave you. Settling. This woman didn't settle. Solomon, you all that? Let me find out. And she found out he was. Read, I'm about done. And when the queen of Sheba had seen all Solomon's wisdom. His wisdom. Now we're going to look at his stuff. Read. And the house that he had built. And the meat of his table and the sitting of his servants. Can I, let me talk about why did she, she found out he was crazy wealthy. But she wanted to know, was he smart first? Uh huh. Huh? Watch this now. I'm going to say something. I can get this with my own mind. I came with this. Yeah. Do you have more? Can you match me? And do you, has your wisdom allowed me to get, has, has it allowed me to reach for something else? Because I came with this. Come with something. You ain't got no business. You in school talking about my man. Your man, if he a man and he in that grade, he's dumb. <laughs> fighting over, how many girls fighting over my man? He get on the same little bus you get on. Talking about my man. If he a man and, the, and, and he a junior and he 26, oh. <laughs> there's your answer right there. My woman and you getting on a bus. Now she might smell like a woman, a bath would take care of that. But till you ain't got no woman. You got something where if you squirt in her, you got to take care of. Oh man, that's good talk. That's somebody's son there. Teach it. Period. Come on. You got to filter all the nonsense of your generation and find out who you are with your head up in the air. And don't feel bad about standing alone. Oh, God. Standing alone. Don't feel bad about eating alone. It's good you all came in together. But because of choices, watch this, y'all. Because of choices, you might have to separate from who you walked in here with. I talk as though I never see you again in your life. Right. You might all came, looking good, came in together, but you might have to separate. Uh, okay. All right. 
Anytime your friends mean more to you than God, you already in trouble. Your standard, God's standard, who you are, your identity should mean everything to you. Finish up. Come on, my dust is sleepy. And the attendance of his ministers and their apparel and oh, they all sharp. Solomon sharp. He ain't just wealthy. He's got some sense. And it's your goal should be the honor roll. Your goal should be a scholarship. Your goal, your brain, because they're looking for you to wash out and quit and give up, huh? Because you are entertainment centered to be entertained. They're not looking for you to finish. They're not looking. And even if you're Kamala and you made mistakes when you're young, you try to now they're going to say you're still not good enough. You got to know that. Most of us don't have no cushion. If you don't make it, that's it. Ain't no daddy, ain't no uncle, nothing. This is your time to excel. You can be popular later after they read about you because you separate. And when I say separate, I'm talking about getting on Facebook, talking about I ain't fooling with y'all. You just trying to get a like. You don't never let nobody know what you're doing. You let your actions speak. They can't find you no more. Huh? All the little silly girls don't call you no more. You're not doing what they're doing. Everybody who wants, man, you're not doing, man. Some of these kids are listening while y'all sitting there getting sleepy, which is why you are where you are right now. You went to sleep on some knowledge. <laughs> and now you old and stuck. You stand alone. You separate yourself. You don't send no email. You don't text them. You disappear. Okay? Because you want to stand alone. Why? Your destiny is at stake. Finish it up. And his ascent by which he went up unto the house of the Lord. He walked like the way he walked. Yes. Oh, if Solomon only could have talked somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Read. There was no, there was no more spirit in her. Uh, no more spirit in her. This lady came wealthy. This was a queen, a queen. But when she saw what God had did for this man, why are you going to give your life? To somebody God ain't did nothing for. In your Bible, God appeared to Solomon twice. All right. You can't tell me God is speaking to all these raggedy men who can't wait to dog you out and mess over you. You can't tell me God is speaking to that man. Huh? God didn't tell that 60 year old man, I don't care how beautiful, smart, I don't care how, how, how you know, she just had. All this ambition. God didn't tell that man to mess over that girl. No, he did not. He would be looking like, man, let's say it go to distance. I don't really care who you vote for. Let's say it go to distance. Could you see her say, come up here, Willie Brown. And you know what? He's 90 years old and he's still as sharp as he was when he messed over her. Yeah, but she has something to do. But he could have walked away. Can we get some men who know somebody's attracted to you, but you walk away because God is. Yeah, get quiet. That's the discipline. If you sharp, you handsome, you smart, ain't going to be a bunch of folk that want you. But that's not your chance to mess over somebody. Huh? You don't take advantage of it. Oh, Lord have mercy. Who am right, I talking to? Right. And yet you never get in line. Never be number two. The people behind you have never been number one. That's why I'm talking to y'all while y'all young and good looking. Never be number two. If you ain't the chosen... Either I'm number one or I'm nothing at all. That's right. And if you have a number That's one, right. you ain't sitting there playing with the emotions of two, three, and four. All right. Because do you want your daughter? Do you want your daughter to run into a man like you? That's for the kids. Black Ronnie love the kids. I'm Black Ronnie. I love the kids. Okay. <laughs> ahead, Read. <laughs> and she said to the king. It was a true report that I heard in mine own <laughs> land of thy... Hey, Annie, these kids are like, who is this? <laughs> I'm not the guest speaker. Read that again. And she said to the king, it was a true report that I heard in mine own land of thy acts and of thy wisdom. What God has done for you, Solomon, everybody know about it. How about that? Everybody know. 
I just had I just had the money and the wealth to come see it for myself. Huh? Who's popular and why are they popular? Why are they popular? Hi, Terry. If it's not for your mind, you in trouble. If it's not for your mind, you're in trouble. Why are you popular? Why does everybody know you? What, what are you known for right now? If it's foolishness, folk don't ever forget. Okay? I, I, I had, had to go to my 50 year, I've been in high school 50 years, and I could still tell you who was silly, who was stupid. A lot of silly folk didn't show up. There's a picture of all the it dudes, the dudes that had all the women and everything that was driving Jaguars and all that crazy stuff. And remember, Babyface went to my high school, so I, all the, you know, he's successful, but the rest of the folk didn't make it. Every last one of them is dead. I'm 68. They never made it. They're all dead. They were all sitting on some steps posing. They were the it dudes. They had all the women, all of them. And every last one of them is gone. Uh, your sins will find you out. Your foolishness is going to catch up with you. So you might as well know who you are right now. You might as well. Ain't nothing wrong with knowing who you are at 16 years old. There is nothing in the world wrong with knowing who you are at 16, 17, 18. And have a game plan to fulfill God's destiny for your role in the earth. You are supposed to make an indelible mark in the earth. They're supposed to be talking about you well after you gone you working on that now when you gonna start working on it? when you 20 and who guarantee you gonna be 20 when you gonna get it together one more thing read how be it i believe not the words until i came and mine eyes had seen it and behold the half was not told the me. half was not told wow Read thy wisdom and prosperity exceeded the fame which I heard. He, she didn't say your prosperity, he already had money. Your wisdom, first thing, yep. Your wisdom, you want a compliment? You are the wisest young lady in this school that you can. Your mind is exceptional. You know why a 30-year-old Kamala was intrigued with a six-year-old man? I'm going to mess with you. Young man, yo, this man is exceptional. Yes, I don't know when men grow up. It should not be at the expense of your body or your mind. That's real talk. Ask any woman who tell you the truth. I don't know when they grow up. When they quit thinking they're God's gift to the world. When they can, anybody can lift a butt, but can't you lift a family with a responsibility and be faithful? Not at the expense of somebody's soul. Okay? Your mind. When was the last, every, when was the last time you sleep your dogs got a compliment on your mind? Or when did your mind shut down? Let me help you. If your mind shut down, your body's going to follow. Huh? Yes. Alzheimer and you 28? No energy? Wow. Your mind shut down. They'll tell you the only way to retard it is to keep your mind sharp. Play piano, read a book, amen, learn a language. You in our, our your mind is heading because the cells are multiplied for a downward. You got to keep it sharp. Yes. When last time you got a compliment on your mind? Oh, you can drink. What about your mind? Who told you you were smart? Whoever said I enjoy talking to you because of your insight? You don't get that by listening to dumb people, their music, or reading dumb books. You sure don't get that hanging around people with no agenda. Even if they're your family member. 
Because sometimes intelligence is frowned upon in some families. Bring a book to the block party and see if they don't laugh at you. Talk about I'm on the honor roll now. You ain't got no boyfriend? What are they? <laughs> who, who, who you hitting? The books. That, that, that way they don't, <laughs> I ain't got to pay nothing. <laughs> That's what I'm hitting. I'm hitting the books. Okay. When's the last time? My, my sleepy adults, that mind. Because poverty will put you to sleep. You'll try to dream it away or sleep it off. Being unfulfilled will put you to sleep. Not being where you think you should have been or had the career you thought you would have had will rock you to sleep. But you can't sleep it off. When you wake up, you will be as unaccomplished as you were when you went to sleep. That was harsh, wasn't it? Yeah. True. That's why you break out of that spell and give God some praise. I still got all day today. I can grab a book. I can lay out on my destiny. The day ain't over with. Thank you for telling me about myself. I need to wake up the world and change since last Sunday. And you still where you were. Yes, yes. Who in here has a goal in mind? Who in here like, man, I, I, I told God, told me he was going to do thus and so for me in July. Which means he going to do it in about four more days left. Who got a goal in mind? Who, look, who looks forward to wake up in the morning? You ever know somebody with a bad attitude early in the morning? You know why? That mind. Your mind shut down, your body's gonna follow. Every head by. That was for the kids, y'all. Black money, little kids. That's for the kids. <laughs> That's for the kids. Pray, KT. Somebody's daughter, their son walked in here. Precious Lord, Father, and Savior in heaven. You got something to offer the world. Yeah, you do. The world. Head up. The world. Lord, we thank you. Because somebody walked into the sanctuary not realizing what their net worth is worth. Oh, I like that. Dawn's net worth, all those experiences can birth a book, a pamphlet. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You're not the pin cushion of the world. Get up. Surprise somebody who thought you was going to quit. Pray, man of God. Somebody walked in with a God-given mantle. And they didn't even realize it. Who is he in God? It's a mantle that will stay with them, Father. Hallelujah. Take as long the as they stay with you. It's a mantle that will never fade, even if their beauty fades. My Lord, a mantle. It's a mantle that they'll never realize listening to the wrong person. Hanging with the wrong people. Hanging with those who are supposed to be friends but are just jealous because they have a mantle and they don't. Ain't nothing wrong with you never being nobody's girlfriend. Nothing. Who has the right to play with you, play with your body, your mind, and then decide they don't want you? You can't get those years back. You can't get that moment back. If you never have no girlfriend. I'm looking for somebody to build with. Nothing wrong with that. And even my friends are going work. We're going in the same direction. Or I will leave you without even telling you. Lord, some queens and a king walked into the sanctuary. Yeah, they did. I heard a word that was specifically for them and for all of us. Lord, we know 
you are our strength in a time of trouble. This world is full of it. But you have blessed us with a mantle. And we shall achieve it as long as we remain attached to you. Bless every soul that heard this word this day for their whole life to be changed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Bless these young queens of Sheba from the south. Come on, I don't play. Bless these young queens.